Well, here we are. Um, I got a surprise for you guys. Got a package in the mail today from Monport. We'll say very quick shipping. Um, not really sure how well it's packaged. Sometimes whenever these things come so quick, you uh, you kind of question how well the quality was uh, before it was shipped off. But we're going to find out. A little bit nervous here. First, first thoughts, uh, this crate, very solid. You can see here, I'm uh, grabbing my pry bar, grabbing my hammer, popping this lid open. I've had some bad experiences in the past with things that have shipped this quickly. So, a little bit nervous. Let's pop it open and see what we got. This lid did seem fairly well secured. Um, I did have to use my pry bar to, to get the lid off. Uh, some big long staples in there to hold that wood together. I do not recommend people hitting it quite as hard as I did, but I was eager to see what was inside. Got some great packaging. Um, first off, very happy to see that top layer of foam. Uh, anytime you get, you get a machine shipped around, uh, you don't know how that truck bounces, jiggles around. So uh, that foam keeps it nice and secure. Even better on top of that, a second layer of foam. Can't go wrong. This one's even thicker. First thoughts as I look inside, wow, um, a lot of foam. And really, as I pull that foam out, you can see there's not a lot of parts inside. Uh, not nearly as many as I expected to see from uh, what I read from other people online who, who talked about having uh, laser shipped to them. You, but that's okay. I'm used to some assembly. That's kind of a trade-off in the price that you pay. Uh, you got to put it together. They do give you some tools. Uh, makes me think, all right, here we go. Got to going to have to slap this bad boy together. Going to be a little bit of hands-on assembly. I was also really happy to see that they shipped uh, a good metal ruler with this. Got standard on one side, metric on the other. I personally work in millimeters, working with light burn, um, gets really nice and precise. Right about here, I'm just realizing that this is kind of all connected in one big piece. Uh, that tower, firmly attached to the base, secured, held up by that piece of foam. Almost out of disbelief at how easy this seems like it's going to be. I mean, they gave me the assembly tools. They weren't anything special, but I'm kind of in amazement how this is just one unit here. Uh, there's going to be two holes, as you can see I just pointed out. Two holes that kind of uh, attach this whole thing together. This whole thing is hinged at the bottom, and there are two thumb screws after you stand the tower up to attach that base. This is crazy. Um, you know, everything that I've read online about these lasers made me think that this was going to be absolute chaos. Uh, you know, I was prepared to find a, a number of YouTube videos and just watch them over and over again while I got this thing dialed in, getting it, getting it set up, parallel, plumb, level, everything. But there are two screws that hold this tower onto this base with a very nice sturdy hinge. This is honestly one of the easiest assemblies I've ever seen. Um, this thing uh, just went together so easily. Just find the screws, put them in. Uh, keep in mind, this thing does weigh about 60 pounds. Uh, that is the shipping weight, a little over 60 pounds. Once you get rid of all the packaging and everything, sitting around 45, I think. I really just thought that there were gonna be more parts to this, but this thing's ready to go. There's nothing else stuffed underneath that foam. This is the definition of setup straight out of the box. Let's get a little bit closer view of this machine as it's set up. This is, thing is beautiful. It is sleek, it is modern, it's got clean lines, nice color. Great little kit. And for those who wanted to see it, uh, here's a little pan around the unit. Got to turn so you can see it. See all the accessories that came with it as well. Just so you guys know, 
Um, the next video that we're going to be putting out is going to be all about installing the drivers for this machine onto a Windows computer, uh, setting up the laser in Lightburn, as well as calibrating the machine to ensure that the engraving is perfectly to scale. Uh, if you guys would, like, comment, subscribe if you uh, appreciate this video here. And if you guys have any questions, be sure to comment below.